Hi, I'm the Wandering Newbie, and it's time for more Record Keeper. This time around, a very special event. It's an FF1 event, which, if you don't count Mobius, is our first FF1 event in over a year. Last time was around Christmas. Last year. Like, last last year, like 2015 Christmas. Anywho, uh, because there's not a lot of FF1 material, this actually just covers the entire game. There you go. That's it. That's all of it right there. <laughs> the, uh, the second banner is pretty good. It's kind of split in the way that the banners are set up. The second one is more magic-based with armor on it, whereas the first one is way more weapon-based physical, uh, with a bit of armor on it. Anywho, first up, we have, uh, actually, what's my speed at? Let's lower that. Uh, first up, we got the white dragon here. We do want to taunt his abilities towards us, get our own buffs up, lower his magic, get the vine guardian up, and then our own protect. Death Throws being a fantastic ability, it is more or less the physical version of Memento Mori that I am so fond of. Uh, haven't actually used it that much, even though I honed it to four. Uh, four star orbs just seem to be so plentiful nowadays, at least for me. For a new player, not so much. But for me, yeah, they're kind of all over the place, so hey, I don't mind honing up an ability that high. Yeah, I, uh, Iko. Echo is actually a fantastic character because she's an extremely solid white ma er, black mage with white magic and can also dance. So she can really cover all the bases that you need. Also, it should be noted, uh, I now realize why my abilities are hitting so hard. And that's because last week we got that nice attack cap raise. Uh, so I'm not hitting the cap on attack anymore. Plain and simple. And that's the, uh, the first fight already done. That raise to the attack cap can really be noticed. Looks like we got a refresh to our meltdown, so we'll probably just hit the zombie dragon with two meltdowns and be done with it. I actually, on my alt, went with an entirely physical setup for uh, Dark Bahamut and was pretty amazed at how easy it was with the new attack cap. Uh, I was just hitting ridiculously hard uh, with very little effort. I think I just had to bring the Onion Knight verse to stack with a shout. And uh, yeah, I was hitting way too hard. Now, it should be noted that both these bosses do need to be tagged with a fire attack in order to hit their conditions. So, try not to bust them down quite too fast. Not really necessary to hit that magic breakdown, but whatever. Now watch as I make this dragon's HP disappear. If there's time afterwards, maybe I'll do a little multiplayer. At least for uh, Apocalypse Super Contact. Mainly because um, it is Sunday, I do want to get a little bit more XP grinding in. Now, being a zombie dragon, I could probably cast Cure on it and kill it. <laughs> then again, did FF1 have those mechanics? Hmm. 
Anywho, just bring some fire, some holy, and maybe some lightning attacks, and these bosses shouldn't prove too much of a problem. Oh, wait. Rupakante will be gone by the time the stream is over. Oops. Okay, so. Apparently you get a special intro if you bring FF1 characters. Huh. That kind of whips ass. Also, I haven't addressed this yet, but yes, get used to this music because uh, they don't like using different music during FF1 events, which is fair and sort of consistent to the original game. However, we have other music, Square. Please, you're busting my balls. Yeah, honestly, the uh, the full Garland dialogue is a pretty cool Easter egg. I love when uh, Rock Keeper does those. Anywho, uh, this is actually Garland. He's you, but better. Now remember. Death's, death's throws uh, stacks with Onion Knight Burst. And the, uh, the attack cap was raised. I mean, yes, as I stated, I understand it's because there's only one battle music in the original FF1. But we have since had a remake, and the remake adds a very good final boss music to the game. They could have used that. It's a pretty good flair. Mine's better. But yeah, obviously, if you can uh, shut down Garland's mag or Chaos's magic, uh, he doesn't really stand a chance against you. You just have to work around his weird resistance gimmick. Uh, 
Anywho, we obviously want to break him first. Lower that attack, get protect up. You know, the good shit. And also continuing the, the tradition of being you but better. Um, our Warrior of Light will probably hit that Warrior of Light like a truck with Saints Cross. I would have used it on uh, Aiko there, but she can actually do plenty with just uh, Dranga. Hopefully we get to see some cool moves from the Warrior of Light. Reaping Scythe, the uh, physical version of Dark Zone, I have rarely used, even though I really like the animation on it. Wow, well, Warrior of Light, they give you the boss slot and you're just so underwhelming. your chance. Do something cool. We will hopefully <laughs> get the Ico Spheres soon for record spheres and all the missing characters well that was a fight that fight uh existed I'll chalk it up to them uh, trying to be kind to people because they probably don't have a lot of the FF1 gear. Hey, there we go. That's a move. A little bit too late, though. Also, again, oops. I finished a little early. These uh, preliminary fights. So, as stated, we're going to wait for his slow to go off, and then we're going to use the Onion Knight burst. First, he's going to haste himself. Shit, Silo Slyo is on arcade pit. Nice. Still going at this a little slow. Gonna get our memento mori up. Then we're gonna get to uh beating down this boss.
That's bigger than a normal number. <laughs> Onion Knight. Perhaps a bit too strong. That'll cast. Oh, right. Fucking chain start. <laughs> and that's why bringing them to normal fights is a bad habit to get into. You get used to that long cast time and you're like, yeah, this is fine. This is good. This is what I want. Oops. Yeah, I was expecting Asolos to have death as well. That's what I was. I actually kind of shocked when they didn't put it on his kit. Hmm. Seems like our taunt has already worn off. That's a shame. Barely even got any use out of it. That's the damage I'm looking for, though. So, pretty soon we're gonna get hit by the status effects. Luckily, uh, Astos has an extremely long time for his turns. And that's lucky, neither of our physical attackers got uh, blinded. So as long as Kefka and Selfie don't get silenced, we're solid. Speaking of slow, it seems to have worn off. I knew I was pushing my luck with four casts. Gonna recast on the third. Hmm. Oh well, no biggie. That's why I brought Ultra Pure. Uh, we can just have Kefka recast the uh, the Roaming Warrior, and that should be good enough. Or that, that works too. Hmm. Perhaps we just Memento Mori. No, because our buffs are about to run out. The Onion Knight will probably finish him off, but... Yeah, better be safe than sorry. Mm, oh, she can't, she can't slow anymore. Uh-oh. <laughs> the downside of my combo. I did not, I did not foresee this. Anywho, he's dead. So the nice thing about the uh, about Astos is once he hits that threshold of going into his weak phase, he actually does the blind, the silence, the haste, and the regen. So if you keep that slow on him, he just wastes four turns that take forever to go off, and you can just wail on him while he's doing those things. As long as you get lucky with the status effects, it's actually a pretty easy fight.
Ah, good, Terra goes first. Now, the nice thing of this is that uh, since Lich likes to cast haste turn one, uh, trying to hit him with slow will cancel out that haste. Unless the slow misses. Hell yeah. Uh, a lot of this strategy does bank on slows hitting on the first attempt. If they don't, fights can go south very quickly. Well, he's gonna die. Yeah, and there you can see uh, they have much lower defenses being not the resistant bosses. Echo just setting up for the rest of the fight. Now she's probably going to hit us with her big move right here before we get a chance to finish her off. Yeah, there it is. Christ! Leave the good boy alone. Now, as we get into these later parts of the fight, they do... Oh, wow, he resists fire? Mm. I was unaware of that one. Uh-oh. Uh yep, that was what I was worried about. Fuck it. Oh, boy. I wonder if ink is physical. I get the feeling it is. We so much Shelga and Protectia up. So hard to say why we took so much damage. In. Need to get everybody back up. And just kind of like never stop relenting. That's not good.
We may be good. We may be all right. Come on, good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. <laughs> Ink is range physical. I hit the wrong thing. not have to bring protect. Such a rude boy. Now I get a double cast. Expecting that. Alphanod's mind is slightly less, so that's to be expected. And he is being very nice. So much so that I'm going to recast Protect. Thank you. 
Oh, we're doing the needful prep for the second half of the fight. Okay. If Selfie has a break, I use it immediately. Nope. Heal. Alpha Knight will probably get knocked pretty low. Alpha Knight and the Onion Knight. Oh, I don't know about that choice. Just survive one more turn. Holy shit, the Thundaga. enough damage if we did not lose our buffs. Whew. You know, I still stayed in my con constraints. I usually only use two synergy weapons on an ultimate plus. Double plus. Ugh. That fight is rough. Holy crap. Um... There's a lot of damage coming out in that fight. If he AoEs a lot, Medicas save you. Shit. <laughs> uh, that strategy works, but... Christ. 
you will squeak by, that's for sure. Obviously, if you somehow pull a synergy magic weapon, uh, you'll be dealing a ton more damage. Uh, and obviously you can use a, uh, a double plus uh, defender, or triple plus defender to uh, replace any of those swords that we have right there. Yeah, that fight is extremely rude, Chad is right. Anywho, that was the FF1 event. Um, Chaos was a suitable final boss. Uh, definitely kicked my ass here and back quite a few times. Just those resistances were such a bit much. <laughs> uh, next time, we have Final Fantasy VIII coming back again. Uh, this time, we're going to get the whole discipline committee. I'll see you then.